Let's take a look at creating a conventional crown in the Blue Sky Plan software. We're going to start by taking our STL models and dragging them into the software. The first thing we want to confirm is that they have the same general orientation as the head on the bottom left. If they do, great. If not, then we have other videos on rotating the models and if need be, importing a buckle bite in order to put them into proper occlusion. Once the models have been imported, we're going to switch to crown and bridge and we're going to add the tooth by clicking the add tooth button. We have multiple teeth libraries. We're going to select the desired library, select the desired tooth, and then choose small, medium, or large and press OK. Add the tooth by shift left click and then go to manipulate model to use the widgets and to place the tooth accordingly. The arrows could be used to raise and lower the tooth. The small circular nodes could be used to make the tooth longer or stretch it in any direction. The editing tools could be used to edit the tooth on a very detailed level, smooth smoothing out the tooth, Global Geometry Transform allows you to grab and stretch the tooth in any, in any direction. Add Remove Material. If you hold down the Shift key and use your left mouse button, then you'll be adding material. And the Control key with your left mouse button will be removing material. Local Geometry Transform allows you to grab any spot on the tooth and to stretch it as needed. The opposing arch can be made visible so we could see the intersections. And they could be removed. Once the tooth design has been completed, we could go to the restoration design panel to design the conventional crown, which should be selected from the drop down list. The correct jaw type should be selected. Make sure the correct models and options are chosen. And then click start. The first step in the process is the path of insertion and press next. We could define the proximal areas by holding down shift and dragging with the left mouse button and then press next. The software has proposed a curve which we could modify by holding down the shift key and just grabbing and dragging. And once we have the desired curve, we can press next. The software shows us a representation of the base of the crown. We could use the different settings to enlarge the cement spacer, to increase the area where there is no cement gap, to change the contour of how the crown base is connecting to the model. and to adjust to increase or decrease the minimal thickness. We could toggle on and off the visibility of the minimal thickness and once we have the desired settings click the next button. The software shows us a color map of intersections. Red represents an actual intersection. We could choose to have the software just cut them out or we could go back and modify and improve the design. Once we have the crown design that we're happy with, we click finalize. And we can take a look at the crown that's been created. We do have the original tooth before it's turned into the crown still in the software, so if you wanted to recreate 
the crown, you could just click the red X and have it deleted and do the process again.